Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on Liz The One TV. I'm your girl, Liz The One. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you guys want to contact me, I put up some contact information. You can contact me at Liz The One TV at gmail.com now. Um, so like I said, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. So I'm just going to roll out some entertainment news real quick because I'm... Uh, I got a little time right now. So, Peter Thomas from The Real Housewives of Atlanta. He was Cynthia Bailey's husband. They divorced about a year and a half, two years ago. He's not the father of her daughter, Noelle. That's Leon's baby. Um, well, Peter got arrested. Papa Smurf got arrested for writing fake checks, fraudulent checks. I really don't even know how the hell you would find or get a fraudulent check. I'm in my early 30s. I don't know how the hell you would get a hold to some fake ass checks like in your 50s and 60s. Like who, you know, you're too old for that shit. You know, I think that at this point in his life, Peter needs to get a nine to five because I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but entrepreneurship does not work out for everybody. I know that everybody wants to be on this business owner tip. I wholeheartedly believe in and owning your own business. I am a business owner, but I also work a job too, because I have to fund the business because I'm trying to get it off the ground. So at this point in Peter's life, he just needs to be a greeter at Walmart. Okay. Cause you getting arrested for writing false checks or fake checks. Remember back in the day, when Peter was on the Real Housewives of Atlanta with uh, Cynthia, people knew that he was broke and he would take all her money and he would, print, or allegedly broke, he would take all her money and he would fund like his businesses or whatever. So people would make jokes like, you know, um, he's running through her money, he's messing up her credit score, blah, blah, blah. But I think that at this point, we kind of know that it's true because of he he can't get bail. I mean, even R. Kelly got bail. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> Jesse Smollett got bail for the shit he did. But Peter can't even get bail for writing these fraudulent checks. So, like I said, when Peter gets out, if he can, you know, if, if this criminal record thing doesn't mess him up too bad, it's not going to hurt to get a job as a greeter at Walmart. <laughs> I know that's fucked up for me to say. I know people think it's messed up, but entrepreneurship is not his strong suit. It's not working out for him. So I think that it's okay for him to become a greeter at Walmart. Moving on. From what I'm reading, Portia Williams had a phenomenal baby shower. Um, here are the pictures. I won't say too, too much about it, but you know, Portia always looks good. She looks fabulous. Um... It's, it's a lot of baby fever in the air, and I know she can't wait to drop it off. Um, I believe her preg her pregnancy is high risk um, and because she's over the age of 36 or 37, so it's a high-risk pregnancy. But congratulations to Portia. And more Real Housewives news, Danielle Staub, I know you guys are like, how the hell does she keep finding men to marry her? Danielle Staub has found another guy that she's engaged to. I think his name is Oliver Mayer or something like that. Or Olivier Mayer or however the hell you pronounce this man's name. Anyway, they got engaged fast. Um, and I guess they're going to get married soon. But she just married and divorced a guy within a few months. His name was Marty. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with the Real Housewives of New Jersey this season. Been a pretty good season this year. I mean, this season has really been awesome. It has the right level of annoyance and and good guys. You got your villains and you got your, you know, your heroes of the show this year. It's, it's actually been pretty phenomenal. And they've been bringing the drama unlike... Real Housewives of Atlanta, Real Housewives of Atlanta, they need to bring back a couple of shady-ass characters to kind of give you somebody to like and somebody to not like. Anyway, that's that. Um, oh, before I forget, the main thing. So, remember the story of how Tristan Thompson, you know, he's always cheating on Khloe Kardashian. Um, he cheated on her, and for some odd reason, Chloe thought that she was going to drag Jordan on Twitter, but Twitter was not having it. I mean, they lit her ass up. Um, I'm posting some of the comments, like, above. I know you guys can see it. Like, they lit Chloe's ass up. They let her know, you know, you're 35 years old, and you're coming after a 21-year-old. And from what we saw with her talk with Jada Pinkett Smith, she didn't 
sleep with him. They were not having an affair. She did admit that she shouldn't have been at the house. It was a kiss involved, but she left and she wanted to talk to Chloe personally because she would never intentionally hurt somebody that she loved. I mean, a lot went on. You can read a lot into it, but I think that um, people just like to start stuff. But I don't dislike the Kardashians because the truth is um, men love them for some reason. I know that they be like, you know, them Kardashian sluts, but here's the thing. Y'all be over there less know of them Kardashian sluts. I mean, I'm, I'm not a fan of them per se. Like, I don't want to be anything like them. But I respect the game and I respect the hustle. It's not my cup of tea. You're not going to catch me naked nowhere making a sex tape. It's just not what I do. Because um, I actually have talent. So, um, but it's not my thing. It's not what I do. But it's what they do. And, and people keep buying it and watching their reality shows. No matter how much shit they steal from black designers, people still watch it. Anyway, nobody got mad at Jordan because this is what we see from the Kardashians all the time. It's what they do. I mean, Kim Kardashian was still, she was sleeping with um, Kanye West while he was with Amber Rose. Chloe broke up two happy homes before she got with either one of these men with her husband Lamar Odom and with Tristan Thompson and he was the girl was pregnant she was giving birth so I mean this is just a recurring theme this is what they do um Kylie the friend Jordan's friend um she was sleeping with Tyga and I think Black China was friends with Kim Kardashian or Chloe, one of them and this is just what they do. So, I mean, karma kind of came for you, even though the girl is saying that she didn't sleep with him. Car karma kind of came for you. And you thought that you were going to drag this girl, but the Smiths stepped in. Well, Jada Pinkett Smith, to be exact. They stepped in, and they kind of shut your bullshit down. And Twitter came for your ass to let you know that it was not going down like that. I think that it's just time to kind of move past this Kardashian era. I can't really hate on it because... I mean, make your money, how you know, any kind of way. But I do feel that it is time to move past this Kardashian era of fake ass booties, fake tans, fake lips, fake breath. Like, you know, it's just time to move past this whole era, you know, of just this fakeness, you know. Um, but I just, like I said, you you reap what you sow. How you get them is how you lose them, honey. And you lost them the same way you got them. I don't think that Tristan Thompson was really into Khloe Kardashian like that. I think that, um, I don't know if they're just fascinated by the Kardashians. But I don't really think that he was really into her like that. I think maybe they had an open relationship. But because it was uh, Jordan supposedly her sister's best friend even though the sister kind of we've seen videos of Kylie treating Jordan kind of like shit but I do believe that because um it was Jordan you know they tried to put it out there like she she's a home wrecker even though that's what these bitches do um anyway that's really all I gotta say about that I'm Liz the one um Thanks for clicking on Liz the One TV, and you can email me at Liz the One TV at gmail.com. Um, once again, I'm Liz the One. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, mainly subscribe. Peace out.